Hey guys, it's Beach, Beach here from Innovative Works Media, and I'm going to give you a little Cinema 4D and a Photoshop tutorial on how to bring text from Cinema 4D into Photoshop. I'm going to use Photoshop CS5. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new document. I already have one open. We're going to go to MoGraph instead of um, Freehand, so it'll be 3D. We're going to go to MoGraph. We're going to go to Text Object with the text. I'm going to put in um, IWM for Innovative Works Media. And then for the font that I'm going to use, I'm going to use Graffiti Treat. I'm probably going to put a link in the description. It's from 1001fonts.com. It's a really good font. And then um, if I want to change the depth or the thickness of the 3D-ness, I'm going to go to depth and I'm going to change it to whatever I want. I'm going to move my screen over. Hold on a second. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a floor. So we're going to go to light, and then we're going to go to floor that's right here. And then with the floor, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so it's like a background of IWM. Or whatever text that you want. And then we're going to pull the text forward so it's not in the floor. So it's forward now. And then with that, if you want to edit your text, I'm going to press this. Well, actually, before that, we're going to make a material. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Shader. And then Nuki. Nuki makes a nice glossy effect. You can change it to whatever color you want. I'm just going to use a green right here. And then we're going to drag and drop onto the text. And then when you render it, you see nice. So the next thing we're going to do, if you want to render it, we're going to press this button here, and then we're, you're going to go down a couple times until you see all of them, and then you could do whatever you want to each of these um, letters, and it's really nice. Like, you could just place it and things like that. So I'm going to turn this out a bit, and I'm going to bring it forward. I can't get at it. Um, one second. And I'm going to take the M, I'm going to bring it out a bit, and I'm going to rotate it in that direction, and I'm going to bring it out again. Okay, so with that, you have it all done, and it's all nice. And then you're going to click this button right here, and that's for the render settings. You're going to go to Output. And for your pixels, you could choose whatever you want, but I'm going to do 1280 by 720, whatever your Photoshop size is going to be. And then for save, you need to save it as a TIFF file for PSD layers, and you're going to create a path. Put your path wherever your um, wherever you save most of your pictures. So I'm going to run a C40 tutorial. I'm going to save it. And then you could just close out of it because we're not going to change anything else. And then we're going to click this button and we're going to render it. We're going to wait for it to render. <coughs> Sorry, I have a really bad cough today. It's actually pretty sad how we're going right now. We have more videos than we do subscribers, but it's okay. Okay, so after that's done rendering, you open Photoshop. I have one already open. You're going to go to File, Open, wherever you saved it, or whatever you saved it as. It's going to be a TIF file. Open it. And you're going to duplicate that. You're going to duplicate the layer. After you duplicated it, you're going to use the... You're going to use the Magic Wand tool under the Quick Selection tool. And then you're going to click the background. And you're going to press Control x And then wherever you see and inside, Control x Control X. This is a lot easier for simpler fonts, but Control X. Control X. You're going to keep on doing that until you have everything. And that little one there. And so after we're done with it, 
see it's only that. We're gonna take the rectangular mark tool and we're gonna make a little box around it. One second. I cut off a little piece. We're gonna make a box around it and then we're gonna take the move tool and you're gonna drag and drop onto whatever you want or onto wherever you want it. And then see it's only there and there's no background or anything. And you could do whatever you want to this, so that's my tutorial. Um, I hope you guys um, will rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.